My name is Glenny and I'm from the Heartland Lifestyle Center. Today I'll be showing you how you can do a chest fermentation at home. So if you haven't watched our video on how you can make our fermentation, you can click the link below and you will see how. So this chest fermentation we'll be doing today will be mixed with the cold mitten friction and I'll be explaining to you how exactly you can do that. So this chest fermentation, this treatment, can be used for congestions related to colds or pleurisy or bronchitis. But if you're using this for pleurisy, make sure that you don't do any cold treatments in between. So let's begin. So for this treatment, you'll be needing a bed or any kind of surface the person can rest on. You'll be needing pillows and sheets. You'll be also needing a blanket. You will be needing your fermentations, of course. Make sure you have a whole set of them that are being warmed up. You'll be needing uh, this basin with some ice and some water along with uh, mittens. Or if you don't have mittens, you can just use a cotton cloth. This will be for our cold mitten friction. Besides that, we'll be needing a kettle. And this kettle will be used for our hot food bath. Along with the hot food bath, we will also be needing a chair to put the hot food bath on. We'll be needing towels to put underneath the fermentation so the person doesn't get burned. And last but not the least, we'll be using other towels which will be used to dry off the person after we do the cold mitten friction. Today I'll be demonstrating this treatment on my friend Carlin. And you can see she's already lying down on this bed that I had prepared for her. And you can see that her feet is in this tub of hot water. Just make sure it's warm enough and comfortable. The thing about the hot water is that it aids with the decongestion. And just make sure that you increase the temperature of the water once the person is comfortable with the temperature. You can use a kettle to do that. So since I got this fermentation from the microwave, make sure that you have some kind of protective gear if you're too sensitive to the heat. I'll be putting the fermentation on some towels so it doesn't burn the person. Okay, you can make it as big as you want it to be. And then I will be placing this fermentation on person. And then I'll be covering her up. Okay. So we'll be keeping this fermentation for about three to five minutes. And once we're done with that, we'll be doing the cold mitten friction. So after the fermentation has lost its heat, maybe it'll take anywhere from three to five minutes, you can then do the cold mitten friction. So what is a cold mitten friction? A cold mitten friction is an application of cold water along with friction. So for this, I'll be using ice along with some water and some mittens over here. But if you don't have mittens, don't worry. You can use um, a cotton cloth of any sort and it will do a good job. So cold mitten friction is used to increase your white blood cells, your circulation to stimulate and all of that good stuff. So let's try doing that right now. I'll be taking the fermentation off. And then I'll be using this mitten and create this friction for about 30 seconds. That's when the countdown begins. So like I mentioned earlier, cold mitten friction is something that's not recommended for someone who's pleurisy or fluid in the lungs, so be aware of that. Okay. So once you're done, make sure you have a cloth so you can dry them off really well. Okay. And 
once you're done with that, you can bring in your other set of fermentation and repeat the cycle for about three to four times. So I just got my second fermentation out of the microwave, so it's nice and hot. I'll be putting this again. And I'll be decreasing the layer of the towel. And we'll apply this on top of the chest once again. So here's a side note, make sure that you check the hot foot bath. So if the person gets comfortable with the temperature, you can add more hot water from the kettle and make sure you don't burn their feet. So after a while, you might notice that your friend might start sweating because it does get really hot in here. But that's why you have your tub with cold water. You can use a face cloth so you can keep their head cool and nice. That feels really good if you're sweating. So after five minutes, you can take off the fermentation and then repeat the cold mitten friction cycle once again. After these 30 seconds, we'll be wiping them off and you can repeat the cycle about three to four times. So after you're done with the treatment, our last step is to pour cold water to the feet. So the reason why we do this is to close the pores and to promote active dilation. So we're putting the feet up. And then I can use the cold water and pour it on top. <laughs> See, it's, it's pretty cold, it's pretty cold, but you know, it does a good job. And it definitely wakes you up. Yeah. <laughs> and then make sure you dry their feet really well. And that's it, you're done with this treatment. After you're done with this, let them rest for about 30 minutes to an hour, and you're all done. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope that you're having a wonderful day.